hi friends today we are going to discuss about anthropic chromatopic and bromotrophic effects the first one that is i know tropic effects the second one is bromotropic effect tropic effect and third one is there is chronotropic effects these three effects are related to the heart and the tropic effect is related to the contraction of heart muscles and bromotropic effect is related to the conduction of impulse and chronotropic effect is related to the production of or increasing the production of impulses so for example during a condition physiological condition during exercise our muscles activity increases increasing in muscle activity increases the oxygen demand to the muscle when the demand of oxygen is increases the heart should have to produce more and more blood towards the uh, secretal muscles so the cardiac output should be increased once the cardiac output increases it's mean that the heart rate is increasing so what happen the heart rate increases and this heart rate is increases are controlled by the cardiac center in the medulla oblongata from here the heart rate is controlled these effects which increase the heart rate which decrease the heart rate which increase the conduction of impulse which decrease the conduction of impulse which increase the uh, contraction ability of the heart which decrease the contraction ability of the heart muscles these are all uh, controlled by inotropic bromotropic and chronotropic effects so we will first define what is inotropic effect the inotropic effect means related to the contraction so it has further two types one is positive inotropic effect and the other is negative inotropic effect what happen in positive inotropic effect that the contraction ability of cardiac muscles increases and in this negative the contraction of cardiomyocytes myocytes or the cardiac muscles decreases so it is simple that the chronotropic effect is related to the contraction and positive mean increasing the contraction ability and negative mean decreasing the contraction ability there are the certain type of the drugs which uh, causes the positive and the negative anotropic effects and the drug which ca which causes the uh, increasing the heart rate and the drug is called as digoxin digoxin is a drug which causes the positive anotropic effect and the drug which causes the negative it is adocanine lido cane it's a drug uh, lido cane which is uh, act as a negative anotropic effect and the drug which uh, causes the positive anotropic effect is digoxin so these are the two drugs uh, which uh, are given to the patient uh, if the heart muscles is not working properly 
or uh, if the herd muscles contraction is weak then we give them dioxin and if the contraction is uh, strong or uh, the hour conduct of contraction and we give them the uh, lidocine and this causes the uh, lowering the contraction ability of the herd muscles so this is about the uh, endotropic effects now we will discuss the dermotropic effect that is the dermotropic effect and it is related to the conduction of impulses so there are further two types positive dermotropic effect and negative dermotropic effect the positive donotropic effect means it increases increases the conduction of impulse impulse across the IV node across the ultraventricular float that the impulses from atrium to ventricle takes short time In negative dermotropic effect, it decreases the conduction of impulse from also across across the AV node. It decreases the conduction of impulses across the AV node. This means that the impulse from atrium to ventricle takes more time than the normal. So there are another type of the drugs, certain type of drugs which uh, causes the positive and the negative dermotropic effects the drug which causes the positive dermotropic effect is called fine tone the drug is called fine tone drug and the drug which causes the negative endotropic effect it is Vera Pamil drug. These are the two drugs which act on the cells of the atrioventricular node and enhance the conduction of impulse and reduce the conduction of impulses across the AV node. And the third one is chronotropic effect. chronotropic effect so in chronotropic effect it also have two phases there is one negative and positive chronotropic effect the chronotropic effect is related to the generation of impulse uh, from the uh, sinoarticular node so in this condition uh, it increases increases the impulse generating ability of pacemaker cells pacemaker cells and it decreases 
the impulse generating ability of pacemaker cells in sino auricular fluid cells in sa node so if the sino if the pacemaker cells is producing 70 to 90 impulses per minute the positive chronotropic effect that is the certain type of neurotransmitters it releases by the um, sympathetic neurons they will increase the production of impulses so the heart rate automatically increases so in this condition what will happen that the impulse generating ability increases the heart rate and in this condition the impulse generating ability become low down and which automatically decreases the heart rate so the condition in which the heart rate increases we called as tachycardia tachycardia and the condition in which the heart rate decreases is bradycardia bradycardia in which the heart rate become decreases or less than 50 and here it will increase there is more than 100 there are the drugs uh, which uh, are given to the patient with uh, tachycardia and bradycardia or increase the uh, to increase or uh, to rise up the impulse generating ability of the pacemaker cells so we have a drug called that is uh, the derivatives of norepinephrine drugs and in this condition negative chronotropic effect we given a drug panadol that is pro pre no lol these are the two drugs mainly given to the patient with low uh, heart rate and uh, increased heart rate so these uh, hold about the uh, anotropic uh, chromotropic and chronotropic effects and the detail we will discuss in later